Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, or just across the Atlantic Ocean, James Chadwick was born. When Chadwick was 11, he got into a good school, but his parents couldn't afford to send him there. Chadwick was your standard nerd, whose favorite subjects were math and science. He won a scholarship to university, but barely had any money, so he didn't eat lunch for three years. Chadwick was supposed to be a mathematician, but got interviewed by the physics people and was too scared to tell them their mistake, so he became a physicist instead. He did some work with Rutherford, who had just won a Nobel Peace Prize in chemistry. Then, Chadwick decided he wanted to work with radioactive stuff, so he got a scholarship to go to Hans Geiger's laboratory in Berlin, Germany. At the same time, all the countries got mad at each other for some reason, and Chadwick was stuck in Berlin in the concentration camp for the duration of World War I. World War I was just a little blip in his radar, because after it ended, he went back to England, continued to help Rutherford, and ended up getting his PhD. Fun fact, he got married and he and his wife had twin girls. At the time, scientists were confuzzled because they thought the atom was made of a positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons. Chadwick and Rutherford thought that they were all wrong. They realized that there are less protons in an atom than the average mass of the atom. They thought that there could be a proton-electron combo in the nucleus of the atom, which would have the mass of a proton, but have no charge. Later, Chadwick discovered the experiments that the Curies were doing, tracking particle radiation, and thought that he could use them to find a neutral particle. Their experiment included beryllium alpha particles, which are basically just atoms made out of two protons and two electrons, hitting hot wax, and whatever wasn't absorbed by the wax would be counted by a Geiger counter. When he copied their experiment, he was convinced that the radiation was a neutral particle that he called a neutron. Because neutrons didn't have a charge, they would penetrate much farther into a target than a proton would. Positive charges are present in all objects, so since a proton has a positive charge, it is repelled. That means that the neutrons would travel much farther, so they would be counted by a Geiger counter. After experimenting, Chadwick published papers about his discoveries. He later discovered that the neutron was a new particle, not a proton and electron bound together as Rutherford thought. He won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his amazing and life-changing discoveries. He received a call from the British government asking him to work on the Manhattan Project. Yo, dude. Hey. Come work on the Manhattan Project so that we can build a big bomb and win the war, bruh. Chadwick was researching radioactive stuff and wrote an important report about radioactivity and atomic bombs and this other guy who was important read it. He officially joined the Manhattan Project in 1943 and moved to California. He then became the head of the British part of the Manhattan Project and told everybody that the atomic bomb would work. After a ton of hours in a room with some other smart people, they finally discovered how to make the bomb. They realized that since the uranium nucleus is super big, it is also super unstable, so if it would split, it would cause a huge chain reaction set off by the neutrons with all the nuclei splitting, which led to the atomic bomb. He was there when they tested the bombs, and when America and Britain officially decided to drop the bombs on Japan. BOOM! After the bombs were dropped, he and his family went back to England and he retired from physics. Just like any other retiree, Chadwick took up some fun activities like being an honorary fellow of the Institute of Physics, received honorary degrees in foreign academies slash fun physics clubs memberships, and being knighted. Fun fact, in his free time he enjoyed fishing and gardening. And then he died. <laughs>